Okay, folks, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and this uh, lesson is interpreting the remainder. So this is our seventh lesson in Chapter 2. Let's go ahead and get started. There's our common course strand, and our question is, uh, when solving division problems, uh, when do we write the remainder as a fraction? And sometimes um, uh, we don't use the remainder, and sometimes we only use the remainder. We'll see, have some of those examples here. So here we go. Uh, Brett is taking a road trip uh, that is 1,365 miles long. He plans to travel the same amount in 12 days. How many miles will Brett travel each day? Okay, so uh, we're going to circle uh, the dividend um, that we'll use to solve the division problem, and we'll underline the divisor when we use to solve the division problem. And if you're forgetting which one's the dividend and which one's the divisor, here's a little method I do right here. So I just the dividend goes inside. The divisors out here, what we're dividing into the dividend, and the quotient is our answer up here, okay? So circle the dividend, that is this number. We're dividing this number divided by this number right here, and this is the divisor right here, okay? All right, so in solving division problems with remainders, the way we interpret the remainder depends on the situation and the question. So so uh, we'll talk about the remainder when we get to, to the uh, done with this division. So anyway, sometimes we need to use both uh, the quotient and the remainder, and we can do this by writing the remainder as a fraction, and that's what we're going to do in this lesson right here. So first we're going to divide uh, to find the quotient and the remainder, and then decide how to use the quotient and the remainder. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide. Always when we uh, start dividing, it's always good to estimate, you guys. So 1,365, um, think of a multiple of 12. Uh, which is t uh, 1,200, and then 12 goes into this 12 uh, one time, and there's uh, two ones. So this is going to be 100 around 100, and since this is a little bit less than this number, this is going to be a little bit less than our answer right here. But this tells me it's going to start in the hundredth spot. So we're going to start right here. So we're going to divide 12 goes into 13 uh, one time. And so we bring to, uh, 12 times 1 is 12. And then we subtract. So 13 minus uh, uh, 12 is 1. Then we slide that 6 down right there. And then we do it again. 12 goes into 16 one time. And then uh, so we do uh, 12 times this 1 right here gets us this 12. And then we subtract again. And we get a 4. Then we slide down the next number. And then 12 goes into 45. 12 times 3 is 36. So um, uh, it's going to be 3 times. And then when we subtract, uh, 45 minus 36 is 9. Okay, so that's our remainder. So how are we going to interpret this answer right here? So our answer is 113 with a remainder of 9. Okay, well let's answer this in the context of the question here. So, um, again, so it says the blank represents the number of days Brett plans to take for the trip. Okay, well, this 12 is the number of days that he's planning to take for the trip right here. So, what is this right here? Well, that is the divisor, you guys. Remember our little, uh, little uh, picture right here? This is the divisor. This is the dividend. So, the divisor goes right there. Uh, and the blank represents the whole number of the part of the number of miles Brett will travel on each day. So here's the whole number up here. So this one's going to be the quotient part right here. Okay, this is the whole number of how many uh, miles he's going to travel each day. And then this is his remainder at the end of each day. So he's going to travel 113 miles every day. And then the blank represents the number of miles that are left over. Well, that's the remainder right there, okay? All right, so the remainder represents uh, nine uh, remaining miles, so which can be also be divided by 12. And so we write that as a fraction, uh, the remainder divided by the divisor right here. So it's this remainder, I left it in red, divided by this divisor. So it's nine twelfths right there. And if you can reduce that, uh, then please reduce that. And we'll end up doing that here. So let's just clean that up. So write the quotient. Uh, with the remainder written as a fraction in a simplest form. So here's the quotient right here. So we're going to write this 113 and then with the remainder uh, as a fraction in simplest form. So it's going to be 113 and 9 twelfths. And I like to say this, you start at the top and go clockwise. Start at the top, 113 and 9 12. So that's what this says right here. And then 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So it's 113 and 3 fourths. All right, so let's answer the question. Uh, so Brett will plan to travel 113 and 3 fourths of a mile each day. Okay, so that's how much he's going to travel on that trip. 
All right, here's another one here. So here we'll use only the quotient. So here's an example where we're only going to use the quotient part. We, do, we don't use the remainder. So Tony is making sweet treat bags for Halloween for his class. He has a total of 232 treats and wants to put nine treats in each bag. How many of his bags will get nine treats? Okay, so we're going to divide, you guys. Of course, when we always divide, we're going to do an uh, estimate, you guys. So 230 is close to 270. So 270 uh, divided by 9 is 30. And since this is a little larger, this is going to be a little larger than uh, our quotient up here. Okay, but it does tell us 30 is in the tens spot. So I'm going to start dividing in this tens spot. So 9 goes into 23. Uh, two times, and 2 times 9 is 18, and then we subtract 23 minus uh, 18 is 5. Then we slide the 2 down, and then 9 goes into 52 5 times, which is 9 times 5 is 45, and then we subtract 52 minus 45 is 7. Okay, so let's answer the question right here. Since the remainder shows that there are not enough treats to make 9 for another bag, it won't be used in the answer because the answer is asking how many bag how many of his bags will get nine treats so tony will put exactly nine treats in how many bags in 25 bags right there so the here the remainder was not used on that okay all right so let's keep that in mind that same question right here here we're going to um, uh, other ways we're going to use the quotient so this is an example the same tony in this uh, treat uh, bag here we're going to add one to the quotient so what is the total number of bags tony will need for all his treats well he he has 25 bags uh already for uh the you know for his uh, treats that he's going to give to his class but with the seven remaining treats he's going to need an additional bag to hold the remainder treats right there so i guess that's going to be for tony okay so he's going to need how many bags 25 plus the remainder bag he's going to need 26 bags so here is an example where the remainder made us add one uh, to our answer right there. Okay, here's an example where we use the remainder as the answer. So if, if it asked us this, you guys, uh, if Tony puts nine treats in each bag except for the leftover bag, we should have put bag on there, how many treats are in that last bag in the leftover bag? Well, there, that would be the remainder answer. It would be seven on that, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you're doing good. Take care.